morning and thank you for the opportunity to present here. Uh, my name is Mayan Koenigsen and I'm from the Tel Aviv Medical Center. I'm going to talk about the Medinol Ioneer Hybrid Coronary uh, Drug Eating Stent System. I have no conflict of interest and um, as we know contemporary drug eating stent uh, had excellent clinical results. However, a target lesion failure is still a clinical reality and uh, the risk of stent thrombosis and instant risk analysis is still a concern. The Ioneer a coronary drug looting stent uh, is a new device. It's designed to provide radial mechanical support with minimal amount of metal and unique drug delivery so to allow rapid healing of the blood vessel. The concept of this uh, stent is a combination of a metal backbone to provide radial strength I'm integrated uh, with a polymer mesh that provide the longitudinal structure, as you can see here in the photo. The metal backbone um, is formed as a spiral diamond cell design without a lengthwise uh, connection, as you can see here. The uh, struts are very thin, 60 micron for all stand sizes. That allows an optimal radial support with a very good flexibility, an unobstructed uh, vasomotion, and a very low metal uh, footprint that allow uh, vessel healing. You can see here the polymer, that's the polymer mesh, and uh, that's a biodegradable fiber mesh that provides transient longitudinal structure, and the drag is eluted from the entire stent surface. And the structure, the highly porous structures, allows the normal blood flow and perfusion into the, into the side branches. Here you can appreciate uh, the polymer mesh. This is from the in vivo experiment. Uh, this is the um, polymer mesh after seven days, and this is after 90 days when it's uh, completely degra degraded. They are incorporated into the vessel wall and degraded without uh, signs of inflammation. This is how it looks like in the OCT. Here you can also appreciate uh, the drug. The drug is um, colored uh, in green and the fibers, the polymer fibers in, uh, in red or um, orange. And you can see here the combination, the diffusion of the, um, the uniform distribution of the drug into the polymer fibers. This is also an illustration of the uniform um, um, distribution of the drug on the stand. This is an irregular <laughs> drug looting stand. You usually have high concentration of the drug on the struts with low concentration in, other, in the other um, region of the, of the stands. And in the Ioneer stand, there's a uniform uh, distribution of this drug. This uniform distribution allows to decrease uh, dr uh, dramatically the drug contact. Uh, there is a four time reduction in dose, as you can see here in, the com in comparison in the stent of 4 millimeters on 16, you can see a reduction of the total amount of uh, drug that's uh, in the stent um, while maintaining a therapeutic tissue level, as you can see here, this is compared to the Elonir stent. So if I have to summarize uh, the properties of this stand, it's an ultra-thin metal structure that provides radial mechanical support. That uh, leads to improved flexibility with minimal effect on vessel motion and reduced barrier to healing. The biodegradable polymer mesh provides transient longitudinal structure and the source for the drug that stabilizes the stent in the first phase acutely and degrades afterwards. That allows also blood flow to side branches and radi uh, radially incorporated into the vessel wall. The drug elution uh, is uh, eluted from the entire stent surface in a uniform mode, and that leads to a dr drastically reduced total uh, drug dose. The Iron Man first in, men, uh, in first in human study is now ongoing. It's a prospective multi-center single arm open label clinical trial that is taking place in four sites. Patients that are uh, undergoing PCI for a single lesion at the setting of angina, stabilized non hysteria elevation amount or MI or silent ischemia are uh, enrolled. Um, we perform OCT imaging at baseline, pre and post implantation, and then follow up angiography at one year, at uh, 15 days Excuse me. Follow up angiography and OCT imaging uh, for the first 15 patients occurred at 
uh, one month and for the other after a year. The primary endpoint of this study is instant late lumen loss and a target lesion failure. We almost completed uh, enrollment. Uh, 56 patients have been enrolled um, from the 60 planned and um, hopefully we'll be able to present the results quite soon. Thank you. Thank you.